In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your references into Excel. Now open in front of me is EndNote, and you're first going to start by creating an output style, then choosing that output style, and then copying the formatted references and pasting it into Excel. Let's get going. Firstly, here under Tools, you'll see Output Styles. And see if you can find the tab delimited output style. That is the built-in style from EndNote. If you can't find the tab delimited style under this list, you can download it from the EndNote website. I'll put a link to this in the description box below this video. Or you can just create your own style. Let's choose the tab delimited style first. Make sure that it's chosen. See here it says tab delimited. And then choose the references that you would like to export. So I've clicked on the first one. I held shift in, clicked on this last one. And now I'm going to say right click, copy formatted reference. Then go to an Excel spreadsheet. I've created a sheet here that says tab delimited. Right click and paste. Here you can see the column for your authors, for your year, the title, journal name, and so on. So this is what it looks like if you use the built-in um, style inside EndNote. So let me show you what it looks like if you create your own style in EndNote. If you would like to organize the information in your Excel spreadsheet differently to what it looks like when you use the tab delimited style of EndNote, you can just create your own style. So you go to Tools, Output Style, New Style, and go to Bibliography Templates. Most of us use the templates of journal articles, being in academia. So choose the journal article reference type, then insert field. Let's say you would like to export the author. After that, you need to insert a tab. Then we would like to insert the year of the publication, insert a tab again. And then you can choose whatever else you would like to insert. I guess the title of the paper is important even the journal name. Here we have the journal name. And after each of them, remember to insert a tab. So after each of them, insert a tab. And one other thing that I think is very important in this case, maybe you would also like to ex export the abstract. Then once you're done, you go to File, Save As, let's call it Excel Export. Click Save, and you can close this box. Now you have to make sure that this Excel export file is chosen. So if you don't see it on this list, you go to Open Style Manager, go to Excel, choose your file that you just created, and you can close this box. Now go back to Tools, Output Style, and click on the file you just created. Now you can choose the references that you would like to export. I've clicked on the first one. I'm going to hold shift in, click on the last one, right click, copy formatted reference, go to your Excel file. Here I've created another sheet that says Excel export. Right click and paste. And here you can see we have the authors, the year, the title, the journal, and the abstract, all nicely and neatly organized. So you can give them headings here, and then you can play around with um, sort and filter and all kinds of you know, lovely tools that we have in Excel. And this is the f style that we've created ourselves. And if you compare to what it looks like using the tab to limited style of EndNote, I mean, it's quite different, different information exported 
but at least it gives you the freedom to play around and to decide what information you would like to export. You may want to change the way the author's information are presented here in this Excel spreadsheet. You can see here we have the initial first and then the surname, but in order for you to organize information alphabetically, and also if you want to identify duplicates when it comes to authors or group various authors articles together, it is easier if the surname is presented first and followed by the initial. So this is how we do it. Go back to EndNote, go to Tools, Output Style, and Edit Excel Export Form, or the file that you just created. Then scroll down where it says Author Name under Bibliography. And here you can see it listed as Name Surname. And you want it to be Surname Name. And here as well, Surname Name. And you can save this, close the box. And now if you are going to copy your references, copy format it, go back to your Excel spreadsheet, right click and paste, you'll see that it starts with the surname first. There you go. Now you can add your column headings and go and play around with Excel and EndNote. Have fun. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.